Hi, my name's Wyatt Sinak, and I'm a comedian living in New York City. I've been to the Museum of the Moving Image quite a few times, and I'm not saying that to brag. You can also go. Just maybe not right now, because we're still in a pandemic. But the Museum of the Moving Image is a very cool space. I remember I went a few years back to see an exhibit they were doing about the life and work of Jim Henson. And it was really cool because it wasn't just the things that we immediately associate with Jim Henson. It wasn't just Sesame Street. It wasn't just the Muppets. It was also all of his commercial work and the short films that influenced and inspired those things that we recognize. It was old commercials where you saw a character like Rolf the dog in a commercial before The Muppet Show. And then to see how that character and how some of the things that Henson created would then go on to be some of the more defining things and defining characters in some of the work that we so associate, that was really cool. And I think that's what the museum does really well is they chronicle the life of how things get made, not simply the movies or the TV shows that we love or the directors that we love, but we see the work that goes into it. We see not just those filmmakers, but we see the people behind the scenes, how costumes get made, the technology and how that evolves over time. And the museum for over 30 years has been chronicling this medium. And in a time like this, where we're in a pandemic, where so many of us are watching television more to find comfort. It's nice to know that an, a space like the Museum of the Moving Image exists, that they're there to keep telling these stories. And with your help, they can hopefully continue to do that, uh, especially if you're a billionaire who just has a lot of money to throw around, or maybe you're the pet of a recently deceased wealthy person. You're a dog or a cat and some old lady died and just left you a bunch of money. Uh, you don't need it. Kibble's not that expensive. So maybe you could help donate uh, to the museum. Obviously, if you're a dog or a cat, you're not allowed in the museum. That said though, outside of exhibits, they have a lot of events they do. They have a lot of educational programs. Maybe there might be some they might do outside that are more dog or cat friendly. But at any rate, whoever you are, if you're watching this, I hope that you can help and give what you can to make sure that the Museum of the Moving Image can continue to chronicle what goes on in the world of television and film for another 30 years or longer. I don't want to limit them to 30 years, however long they want to go. It's really up to them.